Hi, this is Rushali and you are watching Rushraj Classes YouTube channel. Recently, the results of SSLC were declared. Most of the students' parents are busy in congratulating each other because this year, most of the students they have scored very good marks. But unfortunately, there are few students who failed to clear their exam. Means they failed in one or two subjects. Or there are also few students who failed in all six subjects. But before I proceed further, I would like to mention here that failure in one exam is not the failure in life. First thing you have to keep it in mind that failure in one exam, if you face failure in one exam, this doesn't mean that you have completely failed in your life. No, because it said that life is all about the second chance. And even for the failures of this SSLC exam, you have second chance and that is the supplementary exam. We can say yes, the negative point is you failed in one or two subjects. But the positive point is you are not going to suffer the loss of one year because immediately after the results of this board exam they conduct the supplementary exam as early as possible and even the result of that supplementary exam is declared immediately in least number of days so that the student can take admission in the present year itself so you are not going to suffer the loss of one year now this exam is especially for those students who are going to appear the supplementary exam this year. Those who have failed and those who are going to appear for the supplementary exam. So in this video, I'm going to give you some important tips how to clear your supplementary exam. If you want to pass this exam with good marks, I request all of you to watch this video till end. I'll give you few but important tips which are definitely going to help you. So please do watch this video till end and in future to get the updates of the important videos please do subscribe our youtube channel that is rushiraj classes and don't forget to share such videos among your friends so let's start with the tips to score good marks in your supplementary exam first of all find out the reason find out the reason why you are not able to clear your subject in the first attempt find out once you find out the reason, accept the fact. The reason can be anything. You did not study, subject was difficult or unfortunately at the time of exam, maybe you are seriously ill or you met, met some unavoidable circumstances because of which you are not able to even write the exam. Reason can be anything. Find out the reason, accept it. If the reason is I did not study seriously. I did not take my exam seriously. Accept that fact. Once you accept, once you find out the reason, then only you can work on that. Then only you can move ahead. So once you accept the fact, yes, you fail. Fine. Now, the second thing, you have to make up your mind that in this upcoming exam, I am going to clear all my subjects. Whether it's one subject or all the six subjects. Make up your mind that in this coming attempt, I am going to clear all my subjects. First decide that. Okay. First you have to make up your mind and then start your studies. After these things, after these two steps, first find out the reason, accept it and decide that you are going to clear all your subjects in this upcoming exam. And then comes our practical part that how to study. In the supplementary exam, one positive point is the syllabus is not completely new for you. No one is going to give you some new books. Yes, you have to study so and so syllabus for this test. No. Already for one year, you have studied that thing. So whatever things you are going to study, whatever subject you are going to study, it's not going to be completely new for you. Already you have done that. So this is the first positive aspect of your supplementary exam. If it is a question of one or two subjects, it's not at all difficult to pass the subject with good marks. Yes, it is not at all difficult. Even if you have six subjects to attempt, no problem. The only thing is you will have to spare some more time. Even in all six subjects, you can score good marks. Now, what to do to score this good marks? First of all, don't do mistake of studying 
chapter to chapter. Don't start your studies from first chapter. Then you will say, teacher, how to study? If you don't study first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, then how to study? Because right now we have less time. In less time we have to study more. And what is the trick? Already in one of my previous video before the board exam, I have explained how to prepare yourself for board exam. You can even watch that video. But right now, at this moment, the best way of studying is paper solving. Straight way go for paper solving. Gather the paper of previous years and just start solving those papers. Because paper solving gives you the complete revision of all the chapters. Because in one paper, all the chapters are covered. All the types of questions are covered in that paper. So as per my opinion, when the exams are closer, when there are less time to face the exam, paper solving is the best practice to prepare yourself for exam. So I would suggest all the students, those who are going to appear for the supplementary exam is go for paper solving. If your intention is only to get passing marks, okay, chalo, I only want to pass. There is no harm, but be clear in your thought. I want passing marks. I want 80% marks. I want full marks. Whatever it is, be clear. If it is passing marks, no problem. Just be clear in that. I only want to pass in so and so subject. In that case, what you have to do? Go only for easy questions. If you find any of the answers difficult, if you find any of the theorem difficult, if you find any of the concept difficult, straight away skip that. Go for objectives, one mark question, two marks questions and few three marks questions. And then prepare yourself for your exam. Once you continuously solve five papers, I am sure you will definitely get the confidence. Yes, I am going to pass in this coming supplementary exam. Because paper solving gives you the correct idea of what is the weightage of each chapter. What is the weightage of small answers? What is the weightage of marks for big answers? Accordingly, you can decide what you have to study and what you have to skip. So this is the reason why I always insist on paper solving at last moment. And here I would like to suggest even parents that please support your child positively. Okay, chalo, already that failure of your child, accept it and help him, support him to score good marks in the upcoming exam. So these are the practical tips of getting good marks in your exam lastly i would like to give one suggestion now this suggestion depends on your belief here you can take help of some good stotras and mantras there are some special stotras and mantras which are only for students to score good marks in their exam and even parents can help in this regard so this all depends on your belief if you believe, you can check the link of some good sutras which are given in the description box. You can go through that. You can take help of that. But there is no excuse for dedication and hard work. You have to study hard. You have to dedicate time for your studies to get success in the upcoming supplementary exam. So my dear students, don't worry. Don't stress yourself. Just be confident. Have faith on yourself. Accept the fact and is your coming supplementary exam so all my blessings and best wishes for your upcoming supplementary exam so my dear students please do subscribe our channel to get the updates of such useful videos and please do share this video among your friends thank you so much for watching this video